Hello everybody, my name is Casey Harrison alongside with fellow MSU basketball writer Connor Clark. Um, following the loss to Ohio State University away, Ohio State's first Big Ten win um, of the 2016-17 season. Mr. Clark, what can you tell me about it? You know, Ohio State came in a wounded animal. You know, they played a tough schedule and things like that. And, you know, we've seen Michigan State so far this season. They've won big games at home, but they've struggled on the road. There's another case of that. They come into Ohio State sloppy, sloppy with the ball. Miles Bridges, six turnovers himself, a lot of silly mistakes, leading to a lot of points. Yeah, and, I mean, Miles Bridges, he had a pretty good game. He had 24 points, but that was really it for the MSU offense. A lot of turnovers, and that's the key to the game right there. I, Tom Izzo said it right there, and he also mentioned how he was kind of surprised how good Ohio State's shooting was. Um, they came in, not a very good three-point and shooting team, and they kind of lived by the three and died by the three today. Yeah, well, Lyle crushed it coming through, 22 points. And yeah, every time, you know, they were slow closing out Michigan State defensively, but anytime they get a hand up, uh, they're knocking it down no matter what. You know, poor game for Michigan State, good game for Ohio State, just didn't work out for them. And Ohio State is a very physical team too. I mean, just if you look at the record, that doesn't indicate that they're a good good team. Um, they pretty much outmanned everybody on the floor um, against Michigan State. And one thing to look, um, all five of the guys for Ohio State scored in double digits. That's something that it was right on the box score, it was right on the preview, um, on the game notes for both teams. And it was something that MSU couldn't really stop. The size kills them. We know from the beginning of the season that Michigan State was going to struggle with size. You know, Gavin Schilling going down, Ben Carter going down, Nick Ward at 6'8", has got a man at, he's not, you know, he wasn't big enough in there. The guards needed to help out more. Ohio State, big physical guards too with Mark Loving and company. So they just didn't have what it was physically nor they have the height. Um, so I'd like to call this team very consistently inconsistent. Um, you're starting to see that they're having a little bit of trouble on the road. Um, now losses to Penn State at the Palestra, um, Duke, and now Ohio State on the road. Um, so what, what's really next for this team? They play Indiana next Saturday. Um, what do they have to do to improve? Well, they're going to have another high. They're going to have a high-powered offense in Indiana coming through. You know, you know they're going to uh, Assembly Hall. It's going to be another case of do they bring their energy? Do they not bring their energy? Hopefully, you know, you get a loss like this. They come out with that young class and they come out and they play. You know, they play a little extra. They're going to see an environment that you know. Yes, they saw Duke in the Palestra. It's going to be another Assembly Hall environment that they're going to have to deal with and they're going to have to manage the mistakes. And in a game where energy wasn't really an issue for the Spartans, it, it was something that is kind of plagued them in the past, um, as, as especially talking about this season. But like you said, they'll be playing Indiana at Assembly Hall. Um, that game will tip off, I believe, 4 o'clock? 4 o'clock um, on ESPN. Yes. So remember, you can follow along with the state news on uh, Twitter, or you can follow us on the website, uh, or you can follow us on our Twitters. Um, and I think that'll do it. Wrap it up. Have a good night, everybody.